Now this one is interesting. Do you know that your favorite website is actually 65% of text? So in order to make it helpful for your readers as well as for search engines, you need to make sure that the fonts that you are using on your website are not just readable, but should also load fast. And in order to achieve both of them, the best way is to use custom fonts on your website. And if you are using WordPress, then there is one plugin that can solve this issue for you. And that's what we are going to cover in this video. We are going to cover how we can use custom fonts plugin in order to add custom fonts on our WordPress website so that we can have a good looking and SEO friendly website at the same time. So if that sounds interesting, then let's dive in. My name is Ankit and you're watching Brainstorm Force YouTube channel the makers of the Astra theme. Now, just in case, if you're wondering why you should use custom fonts on your website, then here are some reasons for that. Number one is pretty simple. If you want to use a custom typography, you want to make your website look unique, you want to give a unique look to your website and you have purchased a premium font, then the only option to use that font on your website is by uploading that to your server and then use plugins like custom fonts to use that font on your website. And reason number two is enhanced privacy and GDPR compliance. Now, when you upload a custom font on your site, you don't have to worry about if Google or any other font server is interacting with the website or with the user data. All that privacy and data issues are sorted out if you are using custom fonts on your site. And reason number three is speed and performance. Now, no matter you are using a custom font that you purchase from any XYZ website or you are using Google fonts, if you upload the fonts on your website, on your server, it will definitely going to increase the speed and performance of your website. And the reason is simple that your website is no more interacting with the third party server to fetch the fonts to show on your web page. Now, once that is sorted out, let's see how we can add custom fonts on our WordPress website. So first we go to Google and here we search for custom fonts plugin. And here the first result is custom fonts host your fonts locally. So we are going to click on this. And this is going to take us to the WordPress plugin page that is custom fonts made by Brainstorm Force and that is us. And we are going to use this plugin to add custom fonts on our WordPress website. So if we scroll down a little bit, here we can see we have more than 300,000 plus active installation for this plugin. So instead of installing this plugin on your live website, you might want to test it out first and see how it works and what are the options available with this plugin. So for that, all you have to do is just click on this link. It says try it out on a free dummy site. So let's click on this. So right now we are using Zip WP AI. This is going to create a dummy test website for you with the custom fonts plugin already installed in it. So you don't have to worry about creating a staging site and then install this plugin and then see how everything works. So we have simplified all of that process for you and boom, we are already inside our WordPress dashboard and here you can see the plugin is already installed and we are already on the welcome page for this plugin. But just in case, if you want to install this plugin on your live site, all you have to do is just go to plugins and then click on add new plugin. And here we will search for custom fonts. And once again, we have the custom fonts plugin made by Brainstorm Force team. And as we can see, it's already active on this site. So from here, all you have to do is just click on install now and then activate the plugin. We have already installed it here. So that's why we don't see any option here. And once the plugin is installed, it will be added in your installed plugin list. And from here, we can go to settings or we can access the settings from appearance and then click on custom fonts. So if we click on this, here we are back on the custom font setting page and the first step is to add your custom fonts. So let's begin with the step number one. Now, once we are on this page, we can click on add new fonts to start uploading our custom fonts. But before that, let's go to this settings icon here and here we get an option to preload fonts. So if we turn this on, it's always going to make sure that our fonts are preloaded while the web page is loading. After that, let's click on add new fonts. Now here we get two options. First is local fonts and the second one is Google fonts. So let's say you have purchased or downloaded any font from XYZ website. So you can go ahead and upload the font file from here and that will be added in your local fonts. Another option is we can go to Google fonts and from here we get all the Google fonts listed in this dropdown. So we can select any font from here. Let's say we search for Roboto. 
we can go ahead and use that for all our headings and maybe for some paragraph text as well so here we can see all the variations available for this font from the google fonts library and in order to upload these fonts as a local font in our website we just need to click on this add button from here so let's say i want to use this light 300 version so all i have to do is just click on add from here and then it will start adding the font in our website so here we can see font added successfully and here the selected variant is showing here now if you want to add any font from google library you don't have to add all of these variations if you are using this version of this font you can easily use that to create paragraph text and in order to add this as heading you can simply do the font styling from the theme option itself now let's say for this light 300 font itself if you want to make it bold so let's say we go to inspect element and i just go ahead and simply edit the css of font weight which is 300 right now but instead of that if i type in bold you can see it's looking very close to bold 700 version here so you don't have to download all of these variations all you have to do is just choose a regular version of the font which you want to use on your site and then you can make it bold italics or any styling from the theme option or from the page builder plugin options that you are going to use now let's say you have purchased a font from any xyz website and you want to use this on your wordpress website so all we have to do is just give the font name here and then upload the font file here and here we can see all the file type supported so let's see how this one works so here i am on this 1000fonts.com website and you can use any website to get your font just make sure the font that you are buying or downloading it for free it's available for commercial use as well so here the good part is we have a filter to see which fonts are available for commercial use now just for fun let's go ahead and download this font here so let's click on download so now we have the font file downloaded now if you open the zip file here we can see we have a dot ttf font file so we just need to upload this one on our website let's come back here on our website so let's give it a name here and under advanced option we can also mention any fallback font so here we can mention any system font here so let's say we mention Arial and for the font display we will leave it on auto and now we just need to upload our font file here so let's click on this and let's upload the file here we have the dot ttf font file let's click on this and now we will select this file and then click on use fonts so here we can see we so here we can see a quick preview of the font here and once we have added the file here we can choose the font style so let's say the first one is normal with the font weight of 400 regular if we have a different font variation we can go ahead and upload another file for this and that also will be visible here so for now let's remove this one and then we will click on save font and this font is now successfully added in our local website so let's come back here so here we can see our two fonts that is roboto which is coming from the google fonts and the second one is the custom font that we have just uploaded now let's see how we can use that in the website front end so for that we have already added astra theme and now we just need to go to customize and from here we need to go to global and we go to typography and here we can change the base fonts of our website so let's say we want to change the heading font for this site so we just need to click on this pencil icon here so here we see all the google fonts that are available but instead of that we are going to use our system fonts so here we can see we have an option for system fonts and if we scroll down a little bit here we have our custom font listed here so let's select this and here we can see our font is showing for all the titles so here we can see our custom font is now showing on all the headings for this website and now we can just play around with different headings how all these headings should look in the same way if we go to body font let's click on this pencil icon again and for the font family this time if we select roboto and choose the font weight as 300 this is going to load this font locally from our custom fonts 
So now we are using a custom font as well as a Google font and both are stored locally on our website. So this is how easy it is to add custom fonts in our WordPress website. And if you have purchased a premium font that you want to use for your company branding and now you want to learn how you can create some amazing looking logos for your brand, then make sure you watch this video right here. And for more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video. That's it for this one and I'll see you in the next video.